we are excited for it. I'm actually starving. You you ain't starved. Ain't nothing about you starved. <laughs> I'm so much better than the majority of you. <laughs> Hello. I will never copyright a reaction channel. I will never, ever strike down a compilation of me because I don't care. So I'm kind of introducing a little segment, I guess we can call it, to my um, channel. So I kind of just wanted to talk about it as fast as I can. And tomorrow I'll go into more detail. So what I'm going to do is... There are 27 weigh-ins, so tomorrow will be weigh-in number one out of 27. I know a lot of people don't believe in daily weigh-ins, but I do. 27 days of weighing in. I just, I really want to be the lowest I've been this year before I go on my vacation because I know for a fact that I might gain a pound or two on vacation. So, again, today is day one of 27, and I weighed in at 361.2. I wrote it down because I thought I'd forget. So, from yesterday, I was actually down 0. 0.6. Yay! Day two of 27, weighing in with Amberlynn. So, I think one thing that we all know, all know about weight loss, is that the right amount of sleep aids weight loss. It helps with weight loss 110%. I actually only got about three hours of sleep. I didn't get enough sleep and sleep helps with weight loss very, very much. Yesterday I weighed in at 361.2 and today I weighed in at 360.0 so I lost 1.2 pounds. Completely shocked and super happy. I did amazing yesterday. Super, super great choices, so I'm very, very proud of myself. And here is my weigh-in for day three of 27. So yesterday I weighed in at 360.0, and today I weighed in at 359.2. So I'm down 0.8 pounds, and I'm beyond grateful for that. Um, I just want to kind of clarify something. I know I said... When did I say this? And like one or two videos ago... That I was going to stop eating sweets and stuff like that. Currently, right now, I am trying to change, like, ten different things about myself. And it's starting to become extremely, extremely overwhelming. And I feel like when I change too many things at once, I um, just become this bundle of mess and I fail at everything. So, I'm going to change everything I can, slowly but surely. So, instead of taking sweets out of my diet completely, I still eat, like, a tiny chocolate a day. I know such an excuse. I need to shut up with that. Welcome to day four of 27, weighing in with Amber Lynn. So, yesterday I weighed in at 359.2, and today I weighed in at 359.6. So, I'm up 0.4, so today is my first fluctuation. Um... Okay, so I just want to say it's a little shocking that it's already happening. And today is day 5 of 27, weighing in with Amber Lynn. So I'm just going to give you my weigh-in. Yesterday I was 359.6, today I was 359.2, so I'm down 0.4, totally happy. I do want to say one thing. I am doing absolutely amazing when it comes to my eating. I'm eating s fruits, vegetables, and just healthier foods and smaller portions of other things. Um, so I'm a little shocked that I was only down 0.4. I used to lose like 3 pounds a day, but I have yo-yo dieted so much in my life that now I just lose small amounts. Um, it's going to happen and it sucks. Welcome to day 6 of 27, weighing in with Amber Lynn. Okay. So yesterday I was 359.2, and today I was 357.0. So in one day, I'm down 2.2 pounds. I am like over the world, on top of the world. Day 7 of 27, weighing in with Amberlynn. 
So that means I was down 1.2 in one day and I'm not lying clearly because there it is. I want to say if I was lying about my weight I would make myself so much skinnier than I really am. I mean <laughs> I would be like I'd be like I'm actually 230 pounds. Like get real. Get real. I want to be like I'm almost 400 pounds up in this his house. I'm here to tell you guys that this is possible, weight loss is possible, no matter what fears you have, no matter what struggles you have, what, no matter what mistakes you make along the way, I'm living proof that I make nothing but mistakes, um, but somewhere along the line I'm able to catch myself before I fall too far and I'm able to pick myself back up. And that's all that matters and you guys can do it too. Day 8 of 27, weighing in with Amberlynn. I didn't even want to film a video today. I wasn't going to do it, but <clears throat> I promised you guys 27 days of weighing in. So here's day eight. Um, yesterday I weighed in at 355.8 and today I weighed in at 355.2, so I'm down 0.6. I am beyond proud of myself for um, the progress I'm making and I'm just doing really good. I'm making better choices. And I'm eating healthier and eating smaller portions and I feel so much better. I'm drinking tons and tons of water and it's definitely showing because I'm losing weight and I'm just proud of myself for that. Welcome to day 9 of 27 weighing in with Amber Lynn. So today, well yesterday, I weighed in at 355.2 and today I weighed in at 357.2. So that means I was magically up two full complete gigantic pounds in only one day. I know that going into daily weigh-ins I was going to run across um, a fluctuation like that that was going to upset me but for some reason I wasn't expecting that and I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. Hello everybody and welcome to day 10 of 27 weighing in with Amber Lynn. So I am surprised I'm even making a video right now. I'm just feeling a bit discouraged, I guess you could say. I did really well yesterday, um, but I didn't. I actually gained again for the second day in a row. Um, I did stop the daily weigh-in videos. And I even stopped weighing in daily as well because as you guys could see, the last couple of times I weighed in, I did um, fluctuate in my weight and it was kind of getting to my mental status because I was doing really, really good and I couldn't understand what was the issues. I tried to stay as positive as I could and stuff like that. I understand that being on my period is definitely, definitely going to cause me to gain weight. It happens every time, but I don't want to believe it and I don't want to accept it. So I definitely am not weighing in daily anymore. I'm very, very sorry. Bye.